Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something different. I actually filmed a vlog style video a day in the life of a BU student which I've never done before in this channel and I thought this video could be interesting for people who are studying BU next semester or people who are applying to BU and just wonder what it looks like or maybe for people who just wonder what school in America looks like. So I filmed this video when we had actually practical exercises in school. Remember that it is COVID and most of our school is online now and all of the lectures are through Zoom and I thought just filming Zoom lectures would be really boring. So next part of this video is me going to school and being in the lab and after that part is done, I would like to discuss my schedule so you would really understand what typical day looks like. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Good morning everybody, my morning starts with the view of my dog. Hello! This was recorded on Friday, I was heading to my fixed class and usually I wake up at about 5am to be at class at 8 o'clock. I know, I'm so slow. Here I'm showing off my hideous scrubs. They're school issued scrubs and these are size extra small, which is my normal size. So a friendly advice for future BU students, size down on your scrubs. And what could make those scrubs worse? Good, make them bright blue, smurf color, perfect decision. Anyway, here I'm in my car trying to navigate my parking lot unsuccessfully. Uh, and it takes me usually about 20 minutes to drive to school. Yep. There she goes. Parking is not available on campus, so I have to park in a public parking lot. They do give us a discounted rate for students. And there's a beautiful school that was newly renovated. It looks great now. And later on, I make my way to the SLC. And here it is. It's on the third floor. It's what we call our lab, a simulation learning center. It's a very large room and there are computers at every station. Um, this is my station over here. There's a beautiful view and there's I sh there I show off our microscope. Uh, there's a view again and the school is actually weirdly proud of these microscopes apparently not a lot of schools have them we have used them a few times um, but I can't say we use them often and this day our project was Sarah crown here's my fabricated Sarah crown that we milled in the lab we have all of the equipment to do that and I was in a hurry and I didn't do a good job you can see on the distal there's an open margin and it's really huge and the, the entire shape of the crown looks terrible but I was just really in a hurry and I just wanted to get it done so I was thinking of re-milling it today but I did not need that for our assignment in the lab we have to wear the whole shebang, all of the gear that the COVID people have to wear. We wear the N95, the face shield, the gown, the gloves, everything, which is very difficult to do. And here I'm starting my exercise, I'm removing the sprue and adjusting the crown. I was told that I don't have to remill it and they will count it as a pass, even with the open margin which I think is ridiculous. I was totally ready to remill because it's actually kind of fun. But anyway, so here I am adjusting it. After we adjusted it, we needed to do the fit check and this is the fit check paste. Um, there I go, doing it. And here's a full fitted and polished crown. Look how shiny. That exercise was graded and after that was done, I started practicing for, my, for our exam, which is gonna be um, in two weeks after this filming Friday. And we actually are struggling a lot with the SLC practice because of COVID, the entire class was broken in two groups so we could keep up the, so, the social distancing guidelines and everything. And now every group has halved its practice time in the lab so we actually didn't have a lot of time to practice but the professors were all very supporting and understanding and after the grading exercise was over we're allowed to practice as much as we can for our exam. Here is me trying to film my prep, me prepping the teeth. So the exam is going to be on the bridge on teeth 1.6 and 1.4 and 1.6 is going to be prepped for full gun crown and 1.4 is for PFM. In American it's obviously 3 and 4. Five? Yes, three and five. I'm still not used to the stupid numbering system. And here I'm showing our hand pieces. They're actually electric, which is very nice. Oh, here I go. My ugly preps. This was not my good day. Um, 
After that, I went ahead and scanned them in our Sarek that is available on on every row, I don't think it's on every station, but it's widely available in the lab. And all of our preps are checked by this Sarek machine. So it's not checked by the professor, it's actually checked by the machine. So we always are encouraged to scan our preps. Uh, here I scanned it. Do not look at how ugly my prep is. Do not judge your colleague, remember that. And here's the technology that actually checks our preps. Here is a master prep comparison. So over here you can just overlay it with your master prep that is inputted in the program. And here see this is my prep and this is how the master prep is supposed to see. So I'm way under reduced. But overall it's okay. And that is everything we did in the lab that day. I hope you enjoyed my small day in the life. So I hope you enjoyed that vlog part of my day. Uh, sorry for the classmates who appeared in that video. I really tried to pick the footage without any faces in it. And now I would like to discuss my schedule a little bit. So as I mentioned in the video, COVID, the biggest difference uh, that COVID brought into our schedule is that the entire class of 85 people is divided into two groups now because the SLC, the lab, only has a capacity of 45 people at the moment. So we are coming to school alternating group by group majority of this i'm in group number one and majority of the second group i have never even met so we do not get to communicate the of like a, the entire class together we don't even know most of the people from the second group and groups alternate so this day on friday i was the in uh, the first group so i came to school at eight o'clock so the week after that i came to school at one o'clock so the lab session is four hours and it starts uh, at 8 o'clock it goes to 12 and the 12 group switches and the second group comes. Sometimes the DMD class, the American group, also needs to use the lab so we alternate week by week. So one week the group one would be in school and the other week group two will be in school. So our schedule because of that looks absolutely ridiculous. Like it's it looks like a child drew it with a crayon. It doesn't make any sense. When I try to make like doctor's appointment that needs to be consistent or like a dance class, I can never pick a day where I could come all the time because my schedule doesn't make any sense. It alternates all the time. I keep forgetting quizzes. I keep forgetting that it's my turn to go to school because it changes so much. And that's just what COVID did. It's really annoying, but it's just what we have to live with. I, you really need to keep a, a schedule on your phone to keep up with what's going on. And it a, a, affected lectures as well usually they would all be in person and we would just all go to this big lecture hall but because of covid uh, we were divided the entire class was divided in five groups and one group would be able to come to school for a week to listen all the lectures in person and you could opt out of that option you could go to school or you could stay at home and listen to all of the lectures online before they were all recorded and you could watch them live with a on a, a big camera so it was very convenient nowadays uh at first semester i kind of started going to school in person but then i realized it doesn't make any sense because i don't know if it's because of covid or if bu schedule was always like that a lot of lectures happening at the same time a lot of things uh, we would sometimes have three lectures or so three different classes overlap in schedule and we have to be at three places at the same time and that's obviously impossible but everything is recorded so still it's just such a daunting thing that you have three things to do at the same time so going to school for one to just run home to tune into zoom for the other it just didn't make sense so i started taking all of my classes through zoom this is why they didn't make it in this vlog part because it's just really boring to watch a person sit at a computer for the entire day and we have about three zoom lectures every day and that is kind of how our schedule is a lot of things are recorded and that's annoying because you have to watch it on your own time and we don't have our own time we would like if i have free time i would rather clean my house or spend time with my family and not watch the lectures that are recorded and i have to watch on my free time there's also a lot of homework that we have to do. There are a lot of assignments and exams that we have to do on our own personal time and submit by the deadline, which is technically normal, so I don't really complain about that. And also I wanted to mention about our exams. We have a lot of exams. We have so many exams that it, the word exam kind of lost its point. It doesn't even mean like it's exam anymore. It's just regular Tuesday. Last semester we would have exam every single week 
every single week, no doubt, we would have an exam on some subject. And this semester was a little easier, but I'm thinking it's just because it just started. We started doing exams. Last week we had an exam, the week before that we have an exam. This week on Friday we have a practical exam. So it's just a lot of things and they're good. This course is very fast, so if you're applying to BU or if you're applying to just advanced standing program, no, it's gonna fly by and it's very fast paced course. So basically that is all I wanted to say in this video and I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you saw a glimpse of what's going on in BU and generally an international dentist program. So I will see you in my next video and I hope you're gonna have a good day. By the way, I forgot to mention, I made a website. I'm a professional person, I have a website. I'll link it down below, it's brand new. I like really created it in five minutes and I'm gonna work on that more, but just, you know, go down, the link is down below. Go check it out, give it some love. And thank you so much for watching, again, bye.